Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and I'm with Randy from Dexter and today we're taking a look at the Brake Right Electric Over Hydraulic Actuator. Now Randy, what's a normal application that you would see this installed on a trailer? Uh, anything that has hydraulic brakes on it, be an RV, it can be on a boat trailer, industrial trailer, and even on even types of ag equipment, any type of machinery. So the usage is very wide. But mainly common would be the boat trailer, marine trailer, and a RV trailer. Okay, and that's going to, essentially it's a pump that uh, as you get electric signal from your seven pole or your brake controller, that basically compresses that, sends it through the lines to the brakes, and that works for drum or disc? Yeah, mainly used in a disc because of the cost. Uh, when people are upgrading, they're gonna go to a disc, but yes, they can also be used on a hydraulic drum. And what's in there, is basically a circuit board that's taking that signal from your brake controller with the proportional valve, how where your gain is set and how hard you hit your brake pedals, that tells it how much braking to do on the trailer. Okay, so compared to other actuators on the market, what makes this one maybe unique or stand out from those? There's a couple of features on here. One, this has been out longer than any other thing. We came out with this in 1995, so it's been on a long time. A couple of advantages here, as you can see, this is a five wire, hard wire, or a plug and play, but it still uses the five wire because we want to pull power uh, in a unique way so we can ramp up much quicker uh, when you're going down the road. We also use a vertical pump in here that allows us to push the fluid down as opposed to sideways, gives us a few more seconds of stopping power. And when you're doing 60, 70 miles an hour, pulling a trailer, somebody pulls out in front of you, it's all about how quick can I stop my trailer. Yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter what else you have on your trailer when it comes down to a situation like that. Brakes make a world of difference, obviously. Obviously, yes. Um, now, as far as uh, compatibility, does this work with every truck out there, uh, just plug and play with the 7 pole? Uh, no, there are some uh, earlier models of the integral uh, brake controllers that Ford and Chevy came out with that we weren't aware of, so we had to do an add-on that you would put on here to make it compatible with that. But yeah, we can make it work with, with anybody. We are now in the process, and over the next month or so, we even will eliminate that external unit, and it will all be internal. Now there's two different configurations. There's a plug and play and then the universal. Tell us the difference between the two. There, like I say, the unit itself is exactly the same internally on the plug and play and a hard wire. The hard wire is used a lot in a retro, for retrofits as that person wants to go to from electric brakes over to hydraulic brakes. The plug and play we mainly sell to and is used by the OE manufacturer. When you're building the trailer from scratch like an OE is, there's some big advantages to the plug and play. It saves them a lot of labor. It saves the end user trying to figure out if he has a wiring issue because all he has to do is plug and play. If there is any issue, he unplugs something, plugs a new one in, and he's ready to roll. But to do a retrofit, it is much easier to use it, use it on the five wire because all those wires are being used even on electric brakes. You simply tie into it. The plug and play is mainly used, again, like I say, with the OEs. Okay, so more than likely if someone's adding this to their camper, uh, to an existing one that they already have, you're going to want to go with that universal then. Exactly. If this one, if this unit like we're standing here looking at would come with electric brakes, they want to go to a hydraulic brake. This is by far and away the best way to go. It's easier. It's a little more economical than a plug and play. Easiest way to do it. So now that we've kind of taken a look at it and kind of explored a little bit of its uses, uh, what are some of your final thoughts about it? Well, the, the first thing and the main thing that we, why we came out with this is uh, Trailers Forever came with electric brakes, and they really haven't changed a whole lot. Some of the materials improved since the 40s. They were built for World War II. Okay, the stopping distance on an electric brake compared to a hydraulic disc brake almost as in half, and that's where we learned that doing the CSA testing that has to be done if you're going into Canada or even an RV built in this country. The stopping distance, I say, is half. If you're out west where they have real mountains, you don't get any of the brake fade that you do on electric brakes. So the safety factor is much different, or much safer, but again, just so much better braking, almost in half. And the bigger the trailer, the bigger the reward for going to hydraulic 
disc brakes. And my final thought is, why should I go to that? What did you drive here on? A vehicle that has hydraulic disc brakes. So why not put them on your trailer also? And it does seem as uh, technology goes with vehicles, you know, trailers are still kind of keeping up. It's kind of wild that, that we still have that technology of electric. So to kind of step it up, especially when it comes to braking, this is definitely a great option to be able to do that. More and more manufacturers, of course the boat manufacturing went to all hydraulic discs because you don't want to be putting that electric brake in the water. Horse trailer people went to a lot of this because they're more concerned about what they got back there with that horse. Mm -hmm. uh, so they went to this. More and more RVs now are coming standard with disc brakes simply because the consumer is wanting this newer technology. And it's a much, again, much safer, much better way to go. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Randy. I appreciate it. And that was a look at the Dexter Brake Right.